Greetings to all of my friends all around the world and the United States and everywhere that this message goes. I thank you for listening. This is Raymond Mayfield. I get many requests from overseas of people who wants me to make sermons for them to share with people in remote areas. I'm really glad to do that. I hope I'm a blessing to you and I will do what I can. There's a lot of things I need to learn on how to be able to do that a little bit better. And so pray for me that God will help me to do this in a lot of ways. I want to talk to you about Moses and the burning bush today. That's found in Exodus chapter 2. Some wonderful events on Moses' encounter with a burning bush. And I tell you what, it's an amazing story. You know, Moses was raised and taken out of the water by Pharaoh's daughter. He was raised in Egyptian courts and made prince. It was there, he was there, I think, about 40 years. It's a very interesting 40 years. There he killed an Egyptian uh, trying to defend one of his own Hebrew brothers. And so he fled from the uh, wonderful courts that he was living in. He had it made. He had a great career, but he did not have compromise, and he had a fear of God that was, he was in blessed by his people. He loved his Hebrew people. He took up for them, and because of the murder, he, he left out, and then ended up in the wilderness, in the wilderness and the backside of the desert. He went to the mountain of God, which is called Oreb. A lot of many great events happened at Mount Oreb. It was there the Ten Commandments were given. It was there at the bottom of that where, where they worshiped a golden calf while Moses was up on top of the mountain. Elijah fled to there where God spoke to him at Mount Oreb. It's in this location that uh, Moses saw one of the greatest things as he was tending the sheep. What an humble thing that a man must do that he did this for 40 years. He took care of sheep every day. God is preparing him for a future to lead the people out of Egypt into the promised land. And this is a very difficult uh, time in his life, I'm sure, because it sure was a step down from what he had been. But he's learning firsthand how God can help him lead people by using sheep. And it's really interesting to, to study and follow that. When he's out there uh, finally in, uh, in the wilderness there, he sees this bush on fire. And it, it's not consumed. It just, it just keeps on burning. It won't burn out. I'm sure there's a lot of bushes out there probably that were burning all the time out there in that location, but this one was different. It just would not be consumed. It just kept burning. So he approached it to get a better look at it. And when he did, he encountered God that was in that burning bush. And uh, as he approached it, God told him to take off the shoes off of his feet, the sandals off his feet, for he was standing on holy ground. And he was on definitely on holy ground. And God began to speak to him how he wanted to lead the people out of Egypt. He wanted to go back to go to Pharaoh, back where he had committed murder, and go back to a place where he could uh, tell things about God to let his people go. And and finally, he asked God, "Well, how will I be able to do that?" And he said, "Well, tell them you're a representative of the God Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob." He showed him a couple of miracles. He turned his hand into leprosy and uh, pulled it out and it was healed. Uh, and uh, he wanted to let him see some of the miracles he was going to be able to form, perform when he was meeting up with Pharaoh. It's also that when he took the rod in his hand and it turned into a snake and he fled, that must have been quite an experience. And he's going to learn that he's going to be able to use the power of God to do the things he needs to do. Folks, I want to tell you, God sometimes puts you in situations that are kind of hard and you think maybe it's never going to change, but God's preparing you. If you're preparing for ministry today and you're preaching to people, God wants to use you in a great way. Pray and seek God and trust God with all of your heart. This story today tells us some wonderful things about God and about his miracle work and power. Folks, I want to tell you, God is real today. And for all of you people that are listening around the world, God is the same yesterday today, and forever, Hebrews 13 and 8. And God wants you to know that he expects great things from you. And you have a great accomplishment ahead of you to do the will of God. 
So do the will of God to do and obey what he tells you to do, and you'll see great results. I enjoy for hearing from you and hearing testimonies about what God is doing. And thank you so much for listening to this broadcast. Today.